Hey guys, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited. Do you know why I'm excited? By the title, you should tell why I'm excited. If you can't tell why I'm excited, I'm excited because today is the first day of 12 days of foundation hunt. You guys should know by now when it is warmer out, I test out a new foundation every day for a week that, you know, kind of goes with uh, that, that time of the year, that weather, and then for a week in the winter, once again, focusing on foundations that, you know, should be good for your skin around that time of the year, I will test out a new foundation every day for a week. Now, because it is December and everyone's doing Vlogmas and all of that stuff, which I am not ready for, like, I'm not about to try a new foundation for 31 days, but I figured we would play on that whole, you know, 12 days of thing there, and instead of a week, try a new foundation for 12 days. So, for the next 12 days at 6 p.m., you can come, 6 p.m. Eastern, you can come here on my channel, and I will be trying out pretty much most of the foundations that you guys have been telling me to test out for the last few weeks, months, maybe even earlier this year, but I'm finally getting around to it, so that's all that matters. Now, because there's a lot to go over, let's just get right into it. So the first foundation is the Maybelline Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick. This retails for $12 for 0.25 ounces and comes in 16 shades. I'll be testing it out in the shade 370 Deep Bronze. This should be an interesting video because if you guys have seen it, then you know I do not like the liquid version of this foundation. I did it earlier this year. To this day, people are still feeling some type of way that I don't like it, but I don't like it, all right? I've tried it different times, different ways. I just don't like it. So hopefully this is a better experience. All right, so details on this foundation. Whether you're looking for a cream foundation or a contour foundation, this multitasking superstay multi-use foundation stick is a must-have essential that conceals, contours, highlights, and covers. Maybelline's first all-in-one foundation stick features a cream to matte foundation and a precision pointed blender sponge that is perfect for applying cream foundation at home or touching up your look on the go. Benefits, Maybelline's first multi-use foundation stick, all-in-one foundation stick for up to 24 hour wear, cover, conceal, and touch up anywhere, anytime, features a precision pointed tip blend that's all the same stuff I just read. So if you guys did not catch on, there's the stick product right here, and then on the other end is a blender sponge, so we're gonna use that today. All right, so let's just put the product on first and then we'll blend it out I mean y'all should know it really wouldn't be a video if it didn't do that and then we'll just blend it out with the sponge so I'm assuming you don't have to wet the sponge because you know you can use it on the go and you're not always gonna be able to find water on the go and I was looking at the directions and they don't even mention using the sponge um, under how to use it just says apply foundation stick onto skin and blend with fingertips I want to use the sponge though, so you know what? Let's just uh, hmm. all right. Let's do dab. I'm literally just sitting here like, should I be dabbing my sponge like I would with a brush, or you know what? As long as it blends out, that's that's all that matters. First of all, I put way too much concealer on my chin. Second, if you guys have been here for a minute, then you should know that I typically would not be doing this in a foundation hunt video. I like testing out the claims of the foundations on their own. You guys know how my foundation hunts go by now. However, I'll be doing this for the next 12 days in a row. And this is a very busy time of the year for content creators. You know, your girl has other content. She has to be creating for other YouTube videos and for my other social media platforms. So, you know, I gotta do a little, a little extra more with my face, nothing crazy because again, I wanna really test out these foundations, but just know um, for the next 12 days, it'll be the same concealer, same primer, same powder, same eyelashes, just the same look, different foundation each day. I got mascara on my eye, but that's okay. You already know, let it dry and then you can remove it. But yeah, nothing that crazy on my face, literally just concealer and some powder and now I'm good to go for the other things that I have to do. So it is currently 1044 in the morning. So I will be back. Actually, I want to do a check in and then I'll be back later so you guys can see how this held up on my face and get my thoughts on this concealer. Alrighty then, so I figured why not do our afternoon check-in outside so you guys could really see something. But before I get into the check-in, I had to tell you guys that not only will this be a 12 days of foundation hunt, but it'll also be 12 days of giveaways. I just love this time of the year, so you know, I've been planning some things on how I get back and just, you know, like really show everyone just how much I love you guys. So 
each day that I post a video, I will also be holding a giveaway, but they're not all going to be on my YouTube channel. I'll have it on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, and they're all going to be extremely easy to enter. Each one, you just have to be like following me on the one that is in, and then comment. So if I have a giveaway on YouTube, comment on that video and be subscribed and you're entered. If I have a giveaway on Instagram, comment on the picture that I'll be posting that day and be following and you're entered. And if it's on Twitter, comment on the question, because y'all know I love me a good question on Twitter, um, and you'll be entered as long as you're following. It doesn't have to be the correct answer on Twitter. Like, it's just gonna be stuff like, you know, where am I from? I feel like most people should know by now. Uh, even if you don't answer correctly, as long as you comment, you'll be entered. And in each day's video, at some point throughout the video, um, I'll be stopping to let you guys know, okay, today's giveaway is on this. So go enter if you want to. I'll insert here a little video of what I'm giving away because you guys are probably like, well, what are you giving away? Basically, I'm just giving away boxes of makeup, makeup that just has to go. Y'all know I get like those, um, PR samplers that have every foundation shade known to me and I can't clearly use all those shades. So all the winners will be able to check, uh, pick their shade that they want. Um, I've got a couple foundations like that, a couple concealers. So you guys will get all that good stuff. And yeah, so today's giveaway is on this video here today. So make sure you comment down below and that you're subscribed and you'll be entered. And now for the actual check-in. So it is 1.30ish in the afternoon and this is what my face is looking like. I've got some thoughts so far, but I'm gonna wait until I check back in later on tonight. Alrighty then, so it is 7.06 and this is what my face is looking like. All right, you know what? Because they were halfway coming off anyway, so yeah, this isn't how you're supposed to remove your lashes, but that mind business. So, um, details on this foundation, um, conceals, contours, highlights, and covers cream to matte foundation with a precision sponge that is perfect for applying cream foundation at home or touching up on the go. Where's the foundation itself? Oh, it's over here. So first thing on this sponge, I didn't like it. I want, it felt weird using it on your face. I don't use sponges in general when I'm doing my makeup. So maybe that's why I don't like it, but I just wasn't here for it. And I feel like there's a sanitary thing going on here. I mean, people don't even want to wash beauty blenders when they're not attached to a product. I, I just don't foresee it for this sponge. That's a no for me dog on the sponge. Now for the actual foundation, it says it's a cream to matte finish. Um, I don't feel like my face was ever, you know, fully matte, matte throughout the day, maybe like a soft matte-ish, but, um, yeah, well, you know what, I'm gonna just go ahead and get to the part where I say my thoughts on this foundation. Um, I think foundation sticks in general are probably the go-to if you want that skin-like finish. I think foundation stick finishes are almost always beautiful, like almost always. I, however, have not found the foundation stick formula that's just really perfect. For me, I've tried ones where, you know, it was just a little too full coverage or, you know, there was no shade match or it didn't control oil or anything like that. So with this one, like I said, I never I never felt like it really got that matte on my face and I, I can feel the product on my face, which is why y'all know if I ever look a little jittery, it's cause I can legit feel my face and it just makes me anxious. Um, it didn't move around that much on my face because you guys you know i am wearing powder on my face however i told you guys i'd be filming other videos throughout this time of me filming foundation hunt and so i finished the first half of this video i finished the first half of this video and then went to go film something else and the other thing that i filmed only took about 20 minutes because i didn't finish filming it anyway um and then i checked on my face and this this little you know right here had product in it like 20 minutes later and I was just uh, I mean I've had I've obviously had products do that before but it wasn't 20 minutes after um so you know maybe maybe a little bit more normal skin I mean obviously you can make it work with oily skin I don't have setting spray on or anything like that so you know if you really wanted to um you could probably make this a more oil control friendly foundation but i'm just letting y'all know testing out the foundation itself you know um in the place where i get oily I'm, I'm, I'm getting pretty oily however it's like seven at night 
and I left around 10 in the morning. So it's been, it's been a minute, but it started happening quicker than usual. It did really well with my dry patches, had no problem applying there. If you guys ever feel like I'm looking at my face a little too much, I'm looking at my face to remind myself if there's anything that I need to tell you guys about. So, um, the coverage on this I would say is a medium coverage, but again, that's what I like about foundation sticks because I feel like you can make them whichever one you want. I've never seen a foundation stick where it's just like flat out full cup. Have I? Before I say that, no, because I was thinking of the hourglass one, but even that one, if I wanted, you know, a little bit more sheer medium coverage, I could just use less and I feel like I would get that look. So I've never seen one like flat out, you put it on your face and it's just like, oh, all right, just all the way full coverage there. So I like that about foundation sticks, but this one flat out, I would say is a medium coverage ish foundation. Um, there wasn't that much separating on my face. Like I said, it takes to my dry patches. What else do people like knowing about foundations? Um, there's, there's a little bit of transfer there on my face. Nothing crazy. Let me go ahead and insert that flash test right here. What else do people want to know about foundations? Oh, the shade. Um, you know, she, she got a little bit of a red orange undertone to her, but we've been over this before. There are some workable red oranges and then there are some not workable red oranges. I think, you know, this, this, this could be a, a workable red orange here. You know, I feel like, you know, my face doesn't look that crazy as far as the undertone goes. I don't know, I've never really found a neutral-ish undertone with Maybelline. And like I said, there are 16 shades in this foundation. Okay, but other than those two concerns, which the oil, I feel like you could fix if you really want to control your oil there. Do keep in mind the Farsali primer is not the most mattifying and I don't have a setting spray on. So if you really, really wanted to control your oil, if you have oily skin, I feel like you could do that with this foundation because again, what, eight hours? No, how long has it been? I don't, I don't know how long it's been, but hours later, it's not horrible right now. And then, you know, the, the shade thing, like you just might have to make that shade work if you want to, or they just might not have yours. But other than that, you know, she, she, she a cute foundation. I'm not mesmerized, but I definitely like it better than the liquid uh, version of this foundation. You know, the liquid Superstay, Superstay, is that what it's called? Yes, Superstay foundation. Definitely like this better than that one. Alrighty then, so that is it for day one. I hope seeing this foundation on my face and hearing some of my thoughts has helped. If you were thinking of trying this foundation out for yourself, I'm gonna stop trying to point at y'all throughout the next few days. My apologies. Um, but yeah, make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.